you guys, I'm here with the kids. <laughs> We're leaving. It's really hot. Yeah, since I'm already sweating. It's scorching today. It's scorching. It's scorching in Australia. <laughs> uh, we found um, a We found a dingo. We found a, a wild dingo. dingo. So this uh, Rebecca May cloth bag has been here for a while, but it's finally half off. It's gonna be 50 bucks. I think I might get it. I'm just gonna hold on to it for now. Okay, we're gonna go through the handbags. <laughs> handbags. <laughs> Obviously, I have handbags on the mind. Sad that we didn't find any shoes. Oh, are these stories? Oh, these are 30 bucks though. They're in pretty decent condition, but. 30 bucks, and they're like a small size, I think. These guys look kind of tiny. Oh yeah, six and a half. So they're small. Okay, I'm looking through the bags. I just found this Madewell. That's literally $75. Which is expensive. This is such a cute bag, too. <laughs> so I'm kind of sad, but $75 Madewell. Yikes. We'll wait for it to go on sale. This is still here. It's Rebecca. I didn't get it last time. I'm waiting for this to go on sale tomorrow. So we're gonna come tomorrow and hopefully get it over half off. But we'll see. Um, there was a bunch of other bags too, but they're all like pretty expensive. They have this um, Mark Jacobs. The color is pretty, but they're kind of worn. It's 50 bucks. Not currently on sale at the moment. Then, what is this? Kate Spade. Oh, this one's only 30. $30. Kate Spade. This one's a possibility. I do wish it had like a, some sort of strap or something. I don't know, we'll see. Alexa and Yasin are over there on the other side, if you guys can see them. So looking at the bikinis, the bathing suits. Um, there was also this other, oh here it is, other Marc Jacobs, but this one's also kind of expensive too, and it's a fabric one. This one is 40. Um, Carlos. This one's a fossil, it's 40. We're doing some scouting for tomorrow because tomorrow the colors go on sale. So tomorrow this is gonna be 20 bucks and I think that's gonna be a good price for it. So, today's also a reconnaissance mission. Let's see if there's any cool clutches or wallets. John's over there in the corner on his phone, wishing he was at home. <laughs> Let's look at what we have here in the black bag. And I'm sad about that that Tory bird or the Tory Burch. The Madewell bag. Oh, it's so cute, but it's so expensive. We have a coach right here, but it's peeling intensely. So no to that. Little wild fable bag. I think that's it for the handbags, you guys. 
They have some cute bag behind the register, but nothing too major. London Fog. This is a Holston. Kate Spade is 60. $75 Rebecca. Another Rebecca right here. That coach is 75. This is a super cute coach, but it's 75 bucks. I'm gonna wait for it to go on sale. Hey guys, okay. I just wanted to hop on really quick and let you guys know that this weekend is Father's Day and I wanted to give you guys a, another discount. So 25% off everything in this shop. Everything should be marked off already, but if you see something that isn't marked down, just let me know and I will discount it for you. But please make sure to DM me because I can't do anything after the item's already been purchased. And this applies to everyone international or within the US. If you're international, I do ship internationally. Just let me know and I will give you a shipping quote. But yeah, check it out. It's hater.com. The link is down below in the description box 25% off everything in the shop and that's through Father's Day 2021 and back to the video all right I'm gonna take you guys through these cases let me know if anything stands out to you guys because I don't really know usually anything about what's in these cases <laughs> because I don't know really anything about jewelry or anything like that so let me know if anything pops out of you guys Take a screenshot, send them to me if you guys see anything cool. John's here. Hi, John. Actually, no, like those two are like probably the most haunted. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love going through this aisle because um, they'll have like little death bags. Like this. It's Flynn. I actually think I have something that's Flynn. We'll include a dust bag. What's this? Another dust bag. I think this one's for a shoe. No, something about bedding. Maybe a note of this one. How much is it though? 99 cents. I'm also on the hunt for like, um, like stamps and handbag straps and stuff. Bag strap. This one looks like it's pleather though, so I'm probably not gonna pick it up. This is like a crazy looking color. I do also enjoy the oven mitts. Gotta love like mixing and matching the oven mitts at the house. I don't think any of these are calling my name. This one's kind of calling it, but like not quite. It's like a whisper. Ooh, all these like sewing things. Oh my gosh. Mom used to have so many of those because she would always sew clothes for like my sister. And her oh, wait, wait, how did I miss this? Oh, this is leather coming to Papa. Okay, this one's like a brown faux ostrich. Nice. All right, I'm looking through the men's shoes to see if there's anything interesting. That I may like. Well, I actually got an amazing pair of Sperry's yesterday. And I'm so happy about it. I should have worn them today. Speaking of Sperry's, here are some Sperry's. Oh, these are 20 bucks. Are these size 10? <gasps> 10 and a half. Oh, these might be like a little big, but. Ooh, these actually might go on sale tomorrow. So maybe I'll just leave these. These are actually kind of nice. If these go on sale tomorrow and I find them still, might get those. But I did just get some yesterday, so not like. But I have been on the market, like in the market for new Sperry's, because I think Sperry's might be one of my all time favorite shoes. I love them so much. They're so comfortable. I'm actually wearing um, Birkenstocks right now, which I am obsessed with. I do love my Birkies. If you love Berkies too, comment down below. What's your favorite type of shoe? But I'm looking through here. I wonder what Yasmin, Alexa, and John are finding. Everyone kind of just like separated once we got in. But we'll check in with them in a little bit. You know how it goes when you're like thrifting. Whoa, Ferragamo? Ooh, size 90s might be a tight, tight fit. I'm gonna try them on. I'm so sad they don't fit me. They're also not on sale, so. 
No, no, no. Maybe if they go on sale, I'll get them and throw them in the shop. Whoa, John's finding stuff. What did you find? Nike. Nike. Ooh, Carl Lagerfeld. Get it, Carl. But it's $14.90. And it's cute, though, if you this like it. Champion. They're not on sale. They might go on sale tomorrow. Because they're white. They might be 25% off tomorrow. Put them somewhere you remember, and I'm going to look for them. Here, hide them. No, just put them, like, yeah. somewhere here. Like, put them, like, put them, like, right here. And I'll, I'll remember it. But not, like, right there. Maybe, like, over here. <laughs> just, like, in the regular, yeah. I actually just got this for you, or bought this so I could show you. But oh. I'm going to get it. Yeah, it's just, like, whatever. Yeah. It's cute, though. Look for more stuff. Did you see the colors? The green is 25. Just like look for the colors. And then you'll know like, and then, then the colors switch down tomorrow. They're going to. Let's look at the shoes on this side. Some like cool women's shoes. I think these are Michael Kors. They look kind of like fly knits and they have like a hidden heel. 60. Interesting. Bunch of Nikes, Vans, New Balance, Pumas. Who's Alexander Squeen? <laughs> oh, this is so funny. It's like almost Alexander McQueen, but like not quiet there. Oh goodness gracious. Some Sperry's, some Nikes. We got some. Uh, M W L. What are these? Circus. Oh, these are those fake Chanel shoes. They're still eight hundred dollars. I can't like. I cannot with those fake eight hundred dollars Chanel shoes. I wonder if the other Chanel shoes are still here. Oh, they're here. These are also fake. Five hundred dollars. Hi Alexa. So yeah, both the fake shoes are still here. You know why? Because they are fake and expensive. Like why? What are these? No. Looking for some golden juice. Am I ever gonna find Golden Goose? The answer is gonna be yes. You gotta stay positive. They had some cute stuff today, but everything is a little expensive. There are some things I have my eye on that I'm gonna come tomorrow to see if I can get. Alexa said she's come to, she's down to come early tomorrow to go check out the store when it opens, and then after that I'm gonna drop her off back at her house. So she was gonna stay until Wednesday, but she found out that she has like an extra assignment and project she has to finish working on. So, dropping her off a day early so she can get all that stuff worked out. Because she's also gonna come back again um, next weekend anyway. So, we'll be seeing her again, yay, which is super fun. So, it's exciting. So, everything's all exciting and good. Ooh, quick update too. Um, I think. What is this? article hmm. mom just sent me um, some photos of items that she, her friend got from Trader Joe's and we are gonna go to Trader Joe's after this because apparently the ubi ice cream is there and there's like a lot of ubi flavored things and like being a Filipino we love ubi flavored anything that's like purple yam for those who don't know but I'm really excited we're gonna see if we can get any of it and also the peonies are though <gasps> I have to get peonies, you guys, for the house, like, honestly. Now it's peony season. Alexa just found these Birkenstocks. Should we get these for mom? They're pink. They just need a little cleaning. They're, like, not in horrible shape, right? Oh, no, these are going to be 25% off maybe tomorrow. We should just leave these here. Alexa, we're coming back for these maybe tomorrow. Because they're, like, on sale. No, those are cute. 
Let's look at the shoes. Mental note. Those are there. Alright, let's start over here. Here's some Tory Burch shoes. I think these were here last time, but it's missing like the like little plastic thing right there. So there's a hole. There's a hole in this shoe. Here's Ooh! John, look at these. Do you think mom will like these? Oh, the 37 and a half. Nah. Well, these won't fit mom, but like, they resell. Did you see the Valentinos? No, did you see these Valentinos? What size are you? Ooh, try these on really quick. These are a seven and a half. Just see if these fit you. Where am I gonna wear these? <laughs> to the mall. They're too big? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, it's cute. But are they too big for you? Yeah. These might go on sale tomorrow too. Just put them like kind of next to each other. What else do they have here? Some Paradas, Manolo Blahniks have been here. These um, Tory Birches have been here. Catering is just taking. Hadrian is also talking in the third person. <laughs> but uh, I'm just taking inventory of all the stuff that I still remember seeing from last time I was here. As well as looking at all the new stuff. Also, John left. I think he got tired of looking at the shoes and went back to looking at the shirts. But, um, those are cute. I want these two. Hopefully these are here tomorrow. Do you guys think they'll... Should I make this into a two-part? No, no, no. You guys will have to come back tomorrow. Because, like, we have a bunch of stuff to do today and I want to make it into, like, one vlog. So tune in to the next video. Hopefully the next video will be coming back tomorrow and seeing if I can get those. But these are cool shoes. What are these? Jessica Simpson? Hey, get it, Jessica Simpson. That's kind of cool. Alright. I also found these Giuseppe Zanotti's. They're 50. They're cool. Pull me, take me down, love me, something interesting. But they're 50 bucks. That's weird that they're both out here. Normally, like, there's only one shoe, but I don't know if that was a mistake. Um, and then, <laughs> these are cracking me up, because these are, like, fake Gucci's. And they say Rucci on the bottom, so... I just thought that was really funny. And... Ferragamos for 20 bucks. Um, I'm still looking through the shoes. I'm having a ton of fun going through them. Ooh, these are new. Or are they? Silver Tory Burch Ballet Flats for $30. These are a size six and a half. Um, there's always jeweled Badgley Mishka shoes here. Like, I feel like I see them all the time. Got some Michael Kors right there. What else do we have? Don't know what these are. Some more Ferragamos right there. Uh, some, ooh, Prada. We got some Prada for your mama. Prada for, these are $40, 37, size 37. Uh, don't know what those are. Let's see, oh, more jeweled Ivanka Trump shoes. Uh, these are Evans Standard. Steve Madden, some Madewell, some hot chocolate design, Badly Mishka. I'm hoping that some of these shoes are still here tomorrow when I come. Like, those Valentino shoes are really pretty. I feel like maybe I should just get them in case, but I'm like, I'm like the other side of me is like, no Hadrian, just wait. <laughs> Plus, they're like a smaller size. I don't know, sometimes like the smaller sizes are hard. Resell because um, they're smaller sizes, obviously. I feel like eight and a half is probably like one of the most popular sizes, but then I find an eight and a half and they go straight to mom. So <laughs> that's my problem. I always pick up shoes, like, usually for mom, like, in case like um, she likes them or they fit her, or like if no one likes them, then she can have them. So then, like, that's just like what happens, and then mom usually always likes them because. I know I, sh I kind of shop for her sometimes when I look for shoes. Unless they're like heels, then. Oh, Jimmy Choo's. Hello, Jimmy. 
Look at these little flats. These are also gonna fit mom, size 39. These are kind of fun. TBH. Look at that. Oh, oh, check these out, you guys. I found some Moschinos. Moschino. Yeah, made in Italy. Chunky heel. Very cool. Question mark underneath. Um, do I know what size these are? That's a question mark for sure. You guys, I just found, a, I think this is a Selena blanket. Do I need to get this? It looks kind of amazing. I just found um, these really great like napkins. There's only four of them, the William Sonoma. Right there. But they're only like two bucks. They're really, pr I love the print. It's like very like Dolce and Gabbana. I think I might get these. Like they're just like cute like for the kitchen. I think I might get these. Oh my goodness, I found them matching mats. There's four of them. We can do this, to see it's like a table setting of four. That's cute. And now I'm looking for like a table runner. <laughs> Imagine if there was a table runner, that would be adorable. This is actually a really cute piece of fabric. Imagine these as pillows. <gasps> Gorgeous. How much is this? Oh, they're only it's only five bucks. I think you need to get this. I would love that. She loves like making like custom pillows for the houses. Oh, these are nice. Richfield home. Whoa, look at Alexa's whole cart is so full. Look at our cart is over there. This is so expensive. Why is it so expensive? I want to hide that. What color is it? Why? Yeah, it might go on sale tomorrow. How come the Mabel ones I got were ten dollars? <laughs> because they're not as cool as these. I oh, know these are cool. <laughs> this isn't my size though. They're this like super girl. holy. <laughs> like that. Good squares, How come when I looked, I didn't see any? Oh my gosh, this Madden girl bag. It looks like her Rebecca Minkoff. That is crazy. You guys are never gonna believe this. We just found it. We just like brought it out right now, and it's actually like not too expensive. It's only seventy-five. This is an authentic Louis Vuitton Bernie. How much? Huh? It's seventy-five. I am gonna get it. This is real. I'm pretty sure everything lines up. I'm like staring at everything. Um, uh, hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house, and I just like you know, make myself comfortable sitting here because we got some really awesome stuff, and I cannot wait to share what I got with you guys because it was crazy. So, um, in the other video, or Earlier you saw what my sister and Alexa ended up getting from the veteran stuff, or did you? Did you guys see that? Yeah, I think you did. I think you did. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. <laughs> Cause I got so much stuff. Um, so this is like too big to actually show you guys, but I did end up getting the Selena blanket. It was, I forgot how much it was. It was, um, 1996, but I believe it was 25% off or fit. Uh, no, I think it was like 50% off. I think it was like 10 bucks. Is that there? Is that there 15 or 20 dollars or 15 or 10 dollars? I don't remember, but um, I did get it and it's huge and um, definitely going in the wash because you know, blanket and then okay, I just like need to get the other stuff because like literally this blanket is like taking up my entire life right now and I think like oh the lady was like nice enough to like kind of compartmentalize everything so that uh, the blanket like was okay yeah okay I think like primarily everything was in that blanket okay so then everything else is in here and uh, in this um, other bag right here. So, 
Let's go through this, shall we? Let's start off with what I got John, because um, he actually went thrifting with us. He hasn't gone thrifting with us in a really long time. The only reason he ended up coming with us was because I said that we were gonna go get boba and he really wanted to get boba at the place that we were going to. And so I was like, well, we're gonna get boba first. We're not gonna get it last. So we're not gonna bring any back to you because it's gonna be like a while till we get back and your boba's gonna be gross. And he was like, I'm just gonna go with you guys. So he ended up going and I ended up getting him a couple things. So. Um, first things first, I got him this really cool orange shirt. It's a J. Crew and um, collab with Oxford Pennant. And I thought this was just like super duper cool. It has like a little New York thing on there. And if you guys um, didn't know, I actually, like, part, I has, like, I, I can't even talk anymore. I spent part of my childhood actually in New York. So when we first actually moved here from the Philippines, we lived in New York. And that's actually where my sister was born. John wasn't actually born in New York. So, I mean, I guess this is, like, a little bit, like, this could be, like, part of his New York. Because he never got to actually, he was never actually born there. He has been able to go actually visit, which was really cool. And I didn't get to go when he went. So, I was like, oh, bummed about that. But... Then, I also got this really cool Scooby-Doo shirt. I've always wanted a Scooby-Doo shirt, like a cool vintage one. And this one is hilarious. It has Scooby, he's like laying down watching TV. I think he's got some Scooby snacks and it says, Now fetch my slippers. <laughs> this was $6.98. Um, yeah, I think I paid full price on this one. But it was worth it because I really like Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Dooby-Doo, where are you? I knew, da, 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 da. Um, then I got this next thing for John. He really wanted this. And um, it's actually this <laughs> Obey hoodie. And it's like torn right there in the front. But he's like, I don't care. I like it. And I was like, whatever. It was only $3. So I was like, it's a deal. Um, again, it has like a little tear right here in the front. But like, I guess like, I mean, some hoodies have that like as an aesthetic thing so like why not this one uh but i do love the crazy monkey guy right there so that's probably like the reason john wanted this so it's pretty cool so i got that for him too actually that smells nice it smells like someone just washed it of course we're still gonna wash it but it did smell pretty nice um next thing i got is i got this unif uh, like, tank toppy thing. It was $4. Um, Unif things are, like, pretty popular. Um, so I picked up this, whatever this thing is. Like, I think it's, like, torn, like, all the way down the sides. Like, it's literally, like, intensely, like... <laughs> someone wore this intensely. But, I mean, some might, someone might still want it. Um, but it was just $4. So I got that. This I actually picked up for mom because she just loves like fabric, like really pretty fabric. And she likes to make uh, throw pillows and stuff. And I thought this would be really pretty to make into throw pillows. Like we could make a couple out of these. And I love the flowers. I love the birds. The fabric is really nice. She's gonna be so excited uh, when I give this to her. So, can't wait. I think this is actually a tablecloth, though, now that I think about it. I think it's a tablecloth. <gasps> oh, I think it is a tablecloth. Ooh! We can use this as a tablecloth. I don't think it's long enough, though, for the table. It's definitely not long enough for the table. But, um, if we don't use it as a tablecloth, we can definitely use it to make pillows. And that would be super duper fun. Um, how much was this? Ah, uh, I like lost the price tag. It was like on the corner. I think it was like $4, something of that nature. It was a really good price. This fabric, if you buy it at like Joann's or whatever, is usually pretty pricey. So I was very excited about that find. Um, the other random little thing that I got too is this, uh, Flynn dust bag, which is perfect because I actually have a Flynn, like, wallet thing that I can put in here. So if, like, one of you guys ends up buying it, it'll have a dust bag. So that's pretty cool. So I got this. It was 99 cents. Oh, I was super excited for these. So I ended up finding four of these. 
like, well, not four. I didn't find out four of them. Like, the four of them were connected. So I found, like, one bunch of them. Uh, and they are these really cool placemats. I love the print. These are actually from Williams Sonoma. The print reminds me of something, like, very, like, Dolce and Gabbana-ish. Like, it's really, really pretty. And I love them. There's a set of four, which I think is, like, not enough to set the whole table. But, um, I could just set, like, a setting for four, and it would be really, really cute. And, um, I can also set, like, the table outside, like, in the California room. We, I, I, had, I thrifted that really cute bamboo table, and I think this would be really, really cute on there. So I can do, like, a little table over there. It'd be adorable. And to match... I also did get four of these napkins, which are cute. These are really nice, you guys. They're Williams Sonoma. I actually think I remember when these came out because I think I was still working at Pottery Barn when this collection came out. Like, I know they come out with something very similar like this almost every, um, like, spring, summer season. So, but I'm just, like, obsessed. Like, I love the little bees. I love the flowers. I love the combination of the yellow, blue, red, and green. I just think it's just really pretty. And the, um, each set of four was $2. So that was an amazing deal. I'm probably gonna throw all of that in the wash. Um, and then, okay, this is the most exciting find of the day. And you guys already know that I had to get this, right? Um, I still can't believe, like, we were th at the store for, I think, over an hour um, by the time, like, when they brought this out. And I didn't even see them when they brought it out. Usually I'm really vigilant, but I think it's because I was kind of like, uh, what's the word? I was, uh, like, sidetracked or preoccupied talking to, like, my sister and, uh, Alexa and John because they were like showing me stuff and I was showing them stuff and we were like walking around hanging out having the time of our lives and then lo and behold I looked on the rack and like from far away I was like wait a minute that wasn't there before so I just like ran over I was like Vroom. and then, like from far away like this bag you can't really tell like in the bag you can't really tell like kind of what it is but then I was like ooh like it kind of looks like patent that kind of looks like machetta like what is the deal with this bag so I like made a beeline towards uh that section and <sighs> you guys I still cannot like deal with this right now because this was such an amazing find. So this is an authentic Louis Vuitton Vernie's crossbody bag. Um, I actually have the name of the bag. Hold on. I actually... Um, oh, it's called the Mina Street Beige Noise, Noisette... Ver oh, okay. The Louis Vuitton Mina Street Beige Noisette Vernice Leather Crossbody Bag. Really, really cute. And it is in fantastic condition. The Vachetta does it, or the Vachetta, um, the Vernice leather, the patent leather, it doesn't have any stains, it doesn't have any color transfer. It is like in such great shape. The leather is in amazing shape as well. It has a beautiful, even patina looks fantastic you open it up the inside is in great shape there's no like rips tears stains or anything in the interior other than a little mark on that interior pocket right there where my finger is i'm pretty sure i can get it out though but there's like the inner tag right there and you're not gonna be able to see it, but there's a little there's a little tag right there in the corner um, where the serial number is. And this bag was seventy five dollars. Like it was pricey, but like not pricey for this. I did not mind paying seventy five for this guy, and I am really really excited. Um, that I found an authentic Louis Vuitton bag. So, I am unsure whether or not I'm actually going to sell this one. I might hold on to it for a while because I do, I do like the style of this bag. And I feel like it might be something that I would actually 
like use. I think like look at with my green shirt like I think like this combo looks really nice with the green. I just need to like condition and clean the vernis because it just look looks like a little you know like when patent gets a little cloudy looking it just needs like a good polishing. Uh, I have I'm actually going to stuff this little bag right now I have some stuffing because it looks like a little squished and deflated but um, if I stuff it over time like it'll regain like its shape and like with bags like this especially when they're like kind of like a hard um patent or something you always like when you're not using them you kind of want to put something inside of the bag so that way the bag doesn't lose its shape because um like patents Patent things can like kind of lose their shape over time or like they can crease so you never want that to happen so um, I'm stuffing this one I should probably use something else to stuff it actually this is like not enough what else do I have that I can use anyway I'll stuff this later but I still can't believe that I found this bag and such a great deal so exciting this is like like you know like louis vuitton is like one of those holy grail finds at the thrift especially louis vuitton handbags like louis vuitton bags are so expensive louis vuitton anything is so expensive so um i was very very fortunate very excited very lucky to have found this and yeah so i don't know i might keep it in the collection i i might not it's the bag is a little small for mom she probably um, wouldn't really gravitate towards it because of the size. She likes a larger bag. She has like a million things. Um, and her wallet, her large wallet probably wouldn't fit inside of here. Um, so, but it's cute, you guys. It's a cute bag. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about it, but that is actually going to end today's video. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out today and checking out um, the store with us and hanging out. Like, it was so much fun um, bringing you guys to the store with my brother, sister, and cousin. Everyone says hi. Um, if you guys enjoy, like, these group thrifting videos, let me know. Uh... Alexa's actually gonna go on summer break soon. The kids, like my nephews, are gonna be on break. So, like, people are gonna be available to go thrifting with me in some of these videos. So I cannot wait. So if you guys enjoyed the video and would like more of this kind of content with other people, give this video a big thumbs up. Please, it definitely helps the channel. Consider sharing it with your family and friends. Um, add me on um, Instagram for more, like thrifting fun as well and more like behind the scenes stuff um and tune in tomorrow bright and early at 7 a.m for a new video i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys all in the next one all right bye